this is a demo of how to do a kitty burrito. So I just have a little stuffy kitty right now, but I'll show you uh, after this with Charlie as well. So stuffy kitties are nice and cooperative, so this will be pretty easy. But what I like to do if I wanna have the entire cat wrapped, I kind of tuck their little feet under, and then I keep my hand over their shoulder blades. That keeps them in place so that their, their feet stay tucked and they're not trying to get up. Keeping that hand on them at all times is really important when burrito wrapping so that they're not escaping. So I'm keeping my hand there. If I need to, I can even keep two hands and I can scooch up this towel so that it comes up and over those legs and right underneath that, uh, that neck. Then I'll keep the hand on. I personally like to do the one that's closest to me first. I bring it up and over, and do you see how this hand now is keeping that pressure on the shoulder blades? Now I can flip the rest of this around the cat. I adjust my hands again, again, keeping that pressure on the shoulder blades. Then I can bring the other side of the towel up and over, and I'm kind of directing it almost like kind of toward, like towards me and towards the back of the table so that this whole neck area stays nice and snug. I don't want it tight. I'm not choking out the cat or anything, but I don't want it too loose because then they can get these legs up and out and I don't want that. So I'll keep it pretty snug. If this is too loose, we can adjust it at this point and kind of pull a little bit more around if needed. The whole time I'm keeping that hand right over the shoulder blades. That's key so that they're not getting up and escaping. And then I honestly like to kind of keep it hanging over the end of the table a little bit because then I can use my body to keep that, that um, towel in place, right? So now I've got this guy all wrapped up. If I need to do, let's say, a jugular blood pull, I can use my forearm here to snug him up close to me. I can lift up that neck and I can move him to the end of the table so he's ready for a blood pull, okay? Um, if I need to do, let's say, um, an IV catheter or a blood pull from a front leg, I can release some of the towel at the front, still keeping that head control. I can let that foot out, and then I'll be able to hold off the cephalic blood pull. Okay, so this kitty burrito wrapping is an excellent tool to use with cats. It helps them to stay calm, and it helps them to stay contained, so that they're not using all those paws to get everywhere. Okay, so to refresh, we'll go over it one more time. I'm going to keep my hands on the, on the cat's shoulder blades. That's like, that's kind of like their leverage point. It keeps them nice and snug down, right? If needed, I could do a little bit of a scruff to help the cat to relax a little bit. Um, that's kind of plus or minus, depends on the cat though. I can tuck those little feet in and then I'm going to bring up the, the towel, snug it around their neck this whole time I'm keeping pressure over the shoulder blades. Bring this up and over, keep that pressure. Bring this side up and over, keeping that pressure the whole time. And then I'm ready to go and do my blood pull. And that's how you do a kitty burrito wrap with a stuffy. Next I'll get Charlie and uh, I'll show you how to do it with a non-cooperative animal. <laughs>